The third leading cause of death in America is medical error, and doctors are often captured by the pharmaceutical industry. I don't have to remind you that doctors and politicians, the experts, went on TV throughout the pandemic and not only got things wrong, but sometimes actively lied to the American people. Yes! Get him! Turn up the volume so we can actually hear this guy! The volume's all the way up. That's just the way he speaks. You want to talk about misinformation? How about two weeks to flatten the curve? It was a lie. They called it an equal opportunity killer. As if we were all at risk. We were not. Finally, someone's saying it! We did a whole season of Common Sense Soapbox on this. Now that right there is the kind of political disruptor Florida man finds intriguing. And don't get me started on 5G networks. If you hate cancer, you have to hate 5G. Wait, what? Hey, man! Please turn off this fascist before he misinforms more idiots. Why don't you make your case and show where he's wrong, Mr. Goofy Bowtie? The truth is not up for debate nor is my sensible fashion accessory. The science is clear. My bow tie looks intelligent and cool, period. No debate. That's just silly, ChatGPT. Debate's an extremely important tool for discovering truth. If you want your ideas to proliferate across society, you have to engage with people who don't know what you know. And you have to do it persuasively enough to get them to adopt your ideas and incorporate them into their understanding of the world. But I'm smarter than everyone else. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you dummies. That also means not speaking dismissively and condescendingly to people you deem inferior. Nobody's persuaded by name-calling and the insistence that they believe in authority just because they're an authority. They're persuaded by calm patience, engagement with critical points of view, and humility. There are a lot of people in this world who don't wear bow ties. And for good reason. Besides, it ain't like this robot is trustworthy anyway. ChatGPT's also said a bunch of stupid things. Heck! Maybe debate with it is a waste of time. Shut up, you stupid fascist conspiracy theorist. Ooh, who do you think was behind ChatGPT exploding? Was it them? Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational cartoons. We drop one every two weeks. Boy, oh boy, do we love doing it. So you subscribe so we can continue. Thank you.